Well, POP Chairman Bradley Roberts has revealed what he deems alarming information suggesting that FNM candidate for Freetown Dionisio D'Aguilar made a false declaration to the Customs Department defrauding the Treasury of more than $35,000. This has to do with bringing in commercial equipment for his superwash company. Now, Roberts says according to receipts, the value of those goods was lowered to avoid paying what was owed. He also noted that Customs sensed that something was wrong and an investigation was carried out as a result of this investigation. Roberts says D'Aguilar was fined $15,000. The actor was caught red-handed in 2015, falsifying invoices. I, I have the attached evidence that I attached to my press statement uh, regarding uh, uh, the actor knowing and possibly altering the original invoice issued by Whirlpool Corporation on the shipment of 27 commercial washing machines. He declared net assets of a whopping $29 million, but with forethought and deliberateness, Cause for the falsification of three invoices and then the submission of the same to the Bahamas Customs to further enrich himself on the backs of struggling Bahamians who struggle to pay their taxes every day. Well, ZNS News spoke with Diagler, who confirmed that it did happen, but said a broker made the false declaration. He was asked about signed documents admitting to defrauding the Customs Department. Who signed that? I don't know who signed that because that wasn't me. Yeah, what, what, what happens is we went, if you, your broker acts as your agent. Right. So you're ultimately responsible no matter what, right? Mm -hmm. So when, when the broker does anything devious or deceitful, you as the importer are the one who are ultimately Take held responsible. Okay. Yeah, so you have to, um, I don't know who signed that, but it certainly wasn't Denise or JDI, because like, my signature big in both. Um. And he paid the treasury. We were like, oh, you know, we paid the difference and we paid the fine. Because it was difficult to, you know, obviously we couldn't, we couldn't prove that we weren't complicit, but we paid it right away, and uh, lesson learned. So obviously he he reduced the amount that he paid to 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 the to the treasury, and we didn't and we didn't follow up on the on the receipts. I find it interesting that Mister the Iger, in his response, never identified this so-called uh, custom uh, broker. Further, Mister the Iger never he didn't if he, if he disclosed it. Did he take any action against this unscrupulous person? There are more questions that will be put to Mr. D'Aigle regarding this matter. 